welcome back if you're joining us from another video. If you're joining us for the first time, hey y'all. Hello. We have a Hello Neighbor vinyl, pop vinyl unboxing, sort of. Now it's a sort of an open opening because I brought them for my son who loves Hello Neighbor. It's kind of a horror franchise aimed at children. Um, and somebody couldn't wait to open them. Who was that? So mummy went back and put all the lovely vinyl figures back in their boxes ready for the opening and then something happened again. What happened again? Uh, I opened them. <laughs> so they got opened a second time and when, he doesn't know why he opened them a second time. He just wanted his little neighbours out of the box. So you can see they're in varying stages. There's some that haven't been opened, some that have been opened and put back in their box some that the inner part of the box is missing and some that the box has been completely ripped open <laughs> i don't know why the glue guy got completely ripped open was he the scariest was he honey you just ripped him <laughs> what what happened to the glue man it fell over. <laughs> it fell over yeah maybe this will be a good position yeah wait <laughs> <laughs> so yeah look mummy nothing happened to the boxes a second time I didn't touch them at all yeah right <laughs> so I'm gonna let there is six in the set and I managed to only get five of the six there I can't remember what the sixth one is hopefully when we turn around one of the boxes we'll be able to see which one it is okay Blake who shall we start with uh uh, glue guy. Glue guy? Alright, we're going to start with glue guy. So this is the box he normally comes in. He's number 264 in the Hello Neighbor. I know my son's beautiful, but please focus on the neighbor for a bit. And unfortunately there isn't a checklist on the back. Oh, that's such a no That's so annoying. So we've got number 264, so we'll keep that in mind. Hey baby. So here we go. So what can you say about Hello Neighbor, Blake? Uh, it's a game where you try to get down to their basement, but it's not going to be easy. So the Hello Neighbor is kind of, I, I've seen the whole story now, he, he's kind of evil but he kind of has a reason behind it. I'm not entirely sure of the full story, there are theories, I've put a theory out there, in fact I'll put my theory down in the comments below and you can agree with it or expand on it if you are a Hello Neighbor fan. But this is the pop vinyl that comes with the glue. Now the Hello Neighbor uses glue to slow you down and you can see that he is, he's a spiffy looking fella ain't he darling? You think you're gonna have a moustache like that when you grow older? Mm-hmm. You're going to grow a moustache like Hello Neighbor? No! <laughs> what about this little twirl of hair at the top? Uh, yeah. You want a twirl of hair? He wants a twirl of hair. He's got a shaved head, you can see it's all spiky. <laughs> Alright darling, can you, uh, can we stand him up? <gasps> no, you try. Can you do it? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now I'm going to do it in non way. Do you need a piece of paper to sit him on, bub? Like, oh. <laughs> it's like he's like this. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, come on! And he keeps the knocking his head off. It's come on, we do it. Come on, we do it. Come on. <gasps> We're not going to touch it. Okay, baby. <laughs> yeah, he just couldn't accept that mummy got it to stand and he couldn't. <laughs> All right, babe, which yeah, one next? Wait. Wait. Oh. Which one next? This one. Oh, now this is your favourite, isn't it, Bub? Bring me yeah. up the box. Okay, so oh, he'll pass me the figure in a moment. This is number 261, and this is Blake's favourite out of the series. Is This is kind of what Hello Neighbor was shown as through like the beta games, etc. Digging a grave, and you think, oh no, he's digging graves for kids and to bury you in and stuff like this. Um, it, it, when I say kids, if you don't know the game, it's it's got a long history there. I don't actually think his intentions are ever to hurt children. Yeah, he got it up! Maybe just to contain information he doesn't want out there. 261. Okay, sweetheart, show me the... Oh, you got the spade guy. Can you show me the spade guy, baby, and I'll bring him up? Pass me spade man. Yeah, I got him both up. Oh, perfect. Spade neighbor. See if you can do it down here so we can do a flyby. So this is Spade Neighbor, and I have to say this one and one of the other ones coming up is definitely my um, on my top two. 
I think pumpkin head neighbor actually beats out this guy for me, but this is Blake's favorite. And you can see here, this is kind of the outfit he, his usual outfit, which is the same outfit he has in his glue pose. Pose, not pose. All right, bub, let's see if you can get them to stand out. Now, are we gonna do cleaver neighbor? Black and white neighbor? Or pumpkin head? Next. Okay, so this is number 265 in the series. And this guy comes with the cleaver. It's really a shame they didn't uh, use a mommy, checklist on the back. Yes, darling? Uh, it's a cleaver good knife. The cleaver is for hacking up meat. I cook in meat, right? Yeah, it chops through the meat and the bones and things. Oh, it's a bit scary, isn't it? So this is cleaver neighbor. So you'll see that he has the standard outfit on, except he's got a bit of an apron over the front. And he's got a cleaver down the front. He's looking a bit angry, isn't he? You wouldn't want to walk down a dark alley with this guy coming towards you. So that is number 265. Very cute. All right, babe, what's next in your collection? Oh, that one stands up easy. Right, he has blood on his side. Oh, this is um, what I would call black and white neighbor, as he is done in... Black uh, and this and one I didn't open, and this one I didn't open. And you didn't open that one, yes. So it's still in its right position. <laughs> it's still in the right position. You can open up, sweetheart. Woo. I'll grab him, babe. Okay, so you can see that this one here is a copy of the what I'd call the standard Wait, neighbor can I pose. See them both together? Yep, you can in a second. But, and he is done in blacks and whites, but you can see the spray of red. Let me bring down the spotlight to hopefully bring that up a bit more. And the camera just loves my son. See the spray of red all over his shovel and front? Almost like he's been working at night on something a bit devious and he needs to go and have a wash. Okay, sweetheart. Whoops. You get those ones standing up. Oh, and mummy's favorite one now. So this one here uh, is another copy oh, of the so, set Sabay Neighbor, but a pumpkin yes. head. So 261 was the black and white neighbor. Now 266 is pumpkin head, and this one's my favorite. So let's see which number we're missing. We have 264, 265, 261. Oh, both these spade guys look to be 261, 266. So it looks like 261, 262. It looks like we're missing two, sweetie. 263 and 264. No. 262 and 263. So I actually we might be missing two. Oh dear, we're missing two of the neighbours. I thought we were only missing one. But here we have pumpkin head neighbour. And this is my favourite one. And I think this actually came out in um, a drawing for Halloween. Uh, with the pumpkin head on. I could be wrong about that. I know I've seen him in a bit of a devil suit in the neighbor art. The na art's really cool if you check it out on the website. I will pe put the website at the start of the video and just down here at the end because it is a game we'd like to support since we think they've done really well if they're making the game. <gasps> pumpkin head Blakey! <laughs> All right, Blake is now going to try. He has a mission. I'm going to bring a little box out and see if he can get all his neighbors to stand upright. <gasps> okay guys, I've run upstairs to Blake's room <laughs> to find Hello Neighbor with Cookies, which is the one that was missing from the video. Here it is. He's got milk and cookies. He doesn't look very threatening at all <laughs> this pose. He looks quite friendly, apart from a little bit of a frown on his eyebrows here. But that is the other one. So the only one missing to complete his collection is the hallowed neighbor with rope who has some ropes in this hand. I think he has something in the other hand, but I'm not too sure. It was the only one we couldn't locate from Mighty 8. Unfortunately, that's sold out of that one. But here we go. Hello neighbor with milk and cookies. Hello neighbor with glue. Hello neighbor with cleaver. And the three variations of the original Hello Neighbor picture, which is this one here, standard, black and white, and pumpkin face. And I love pumpkin face. He's so cute. Blake, which one's your favorite again? Uh, my favorite one is the pumpkin head. All of them, probably. <laughs> no, uh, are you? The southern neighbor. Oh, yes. He likes the... 
the original, the shovel labour. There's a, and there's like a crow. Yeah, a little crow sitting in there. Crows are brought up really, really common brides in New Zealand. Crows are kind of a symbol of death, which is um, also something that's featured a lot in um, the Hello I Neighbor mean, game. Like brown, brown crows. Are no, but we have. Those are thrushes, darling, out in the garden. But anyway, that is Blake's Hello Neighbor collection. There are six of them here. There's one missing. If you love Hello Neighbor, what should they do? Give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here. We love to share. And my kids are getting into this child franchise kind of game. Thing with the little horror games for kids. Thanks so much for watching! See ya!